Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to a new episode of learning how to paint. This is the fourth episode if I recall correctly. Let's see if the camera is rolling. Yes it is. Uh, this is a episode in which we are refining some thumbnails. I created a couple of thumbnails, uh, 12 thumbnails to be exact, in a live stream a couple of weeks ago. And I decided to refine them. I did a live stream on that as well. You can watch that over on twitch.tv slash mstudiosadp. Uh, you can watch the VOD there so you can uh, watch the thing in real time. So I created 12 thumbnails from photo bashing and painting over them. And I selected the six that I liked the most and I decided to refine those six. And from those six I will probably pick a couple and make a painting out of that. But that probably will be a separate video for each one of them if, if I'm going to make a video out of it. Because that's basically a refining, a refining process which is the same for each and every one of them. So I'm not sure if that's interesting to to have in a video every time. As you can see the video is uh, sped up quite a bit because I didn't want this to turn into a 40 minute video uh, so I've sped it up to about 21 minutes something like that a little bit a little bit longer in total the process took uh, about one and a half hours so it, it sped up about four times yeah it's sped up about four times so that's actually quite a bit or two times so it's sped up once and then it's that it's better again. Um, let me take uh, some coffee here. So yeah, basically I threw some stuff on the canvas and I uh, drew uh, or I looked for a composition in that and from that I started to refine it and I took the, the six one, the six that I like the most. Here you can see me flip back and forth between the layer that I painted on and the layer that's below. This is my favorite tool, uh, currently the lasso tool with the soft brush. It really helps uh, to bring depth in your painting. Uh, it really helps with the atmospheric perspective. So yeah, that's something that I, I've started using a lot more now. Um, it's a lot easier to do that than to paint all the edges. It really helps creating nice edges in your painting. Of course you can do each mountain range on a separate layer and then lock the transparency so you can work on each mountain without uh, painting on uh, on top of other mountains. But I kind of like um, to use only one layer for my paint instead of using like 10 or 20 layers because it uh, slows down Photoshop. I, I have a decent PC but, but still I, I really like the work fast um, but maybe it is something that I will experiment with in the future there are a lot of different tools and options you can use in Photoshop and I'm planning on exploring uh, a lot of them because uh, this is about learning this is I'm, I'm nowhere near um, finished with my learning process uh, I need to keep learning every day I need to keep improving every day and that also means that I have to check out the tools available to me and see what is good, what I can use and what works. So that's definitely something that we will experiment with. Um, speaking about live streaming, I did this live stream on Twitch, but I am starting to think about live streaming on my YouTube channel. So we might uh, do some live streams instead of just uploading videos in this series because that allows me to, yeah, you, I can basically stream for, uh, for let's say three hours and in three hours I can do quite a bit. I can experiment a lot. Uh, we can do all sorts of stuff. So that's something that I uh, am planning to do in the near future. And that maybe allows me to create a little bit more content for the channel. Currently, I'm creating one video each week, uh, but I kind of want to spend more time with it and yeah, make a couple of more videos each week. So here I move to the second thumbnail. Uh, this one I like the least of all the thumbnails. I wasn't sure if I should pick this one. Uh, I'm not sure about the color uh, and the composition. I mean, just feels the weakest of all of them to me. Uh, 
and it was basically only mountains so I decided to figure out if I could put some architecture in it to put uh, basically uh, make a city on the, on, on the hill in front here so I used the marquee tools to select uh, little blocks to indicate uh, skyscrapers and houses and things like that um, so this is not really a fantasy landscape this is more a, a modern city uh, well most of the landscapes are looking a lot uh, a lot like fantasy uh, this one oh a modern city can be fantasy as well of course uh, I think I like this one the most because it's so different compared to the rest of them but it also it's also the one that I find the most difficult to work with because it's uh, it's out of my comfort zone but uh, that kind of forces me well I, I I'm trying to force myself to work on it every time because if I keep doing stuff within my comfort zone I will never uh, improve in the other areas and I want to improve in, in, in other areas as well I want to improve outside my comfort zone because if, if you keep working within your comfort zone you will just end up making the same pieces over and over again and that's something that I'm quite guilty of I'm, I'm quite uh, confident on creating landscapes and I find myself to create a lot of landscapes so that's something we should deviate from I should start focusing on creatures maybe or, or characters uh, that's something I find really difficult creating uh, painting people uh, but that is definitely something that I should start practicing with and just make different things in general um, so that's what this is about as well because I created a lot of those thumbnails you get a lot of variety you can pick from that variety and so we came up with this which normally I probably wouldn't have come up with um, I scribbled in some sort of vegetation in hindsight I'm not sure what I think of the vegetation in the foreground but it's there now uh, then I picked the vibrant orange color or red reddish color and I really like it so I, I really want to incorporate that into this piece so I put it down here and there but at this point I'm still not sure what I wanted to do with it so and that's that's quite dangerous I would say because then you're just randomly scribbling down things and not thinking about uh, where to put things not thinking oh I want a mountain here or I want a building there and that doesn't necessarily increase the quality of your piece it just becomes a, a random scribbled piece so to speak so and that's something I should work on as well a deliberate uh, design instead of uh, random same semi randomly putting things down so that's something I want to practice with with um, so that's uh, that might be a good thing to do to do a video on so we move uh, on to the fourth one and this is actually one that I quite uh, like the way it is uh, I don't really want to spend a lot of time moving it because I think it just needs to need some refinement I created some spiky rock bit but I decided to get rid of it because uh, it wasn't what I wanted uh, it just didn't feel right so I just uh, detailed this one a little bit more uh, but I quite like it, like the way it is already so I think we will just refine this one maybe put uh, put some buildings in the background some of a city um, but I quite like the atmosphere of this one clouds the, the, the cold, cold look of it it looks a bit like a tundra and I also really like this one um, well I like the the bottom two-third of it I, I don't like the mountains and that's something that I will, will change later on in this video because I don't, I don't know the mountains didn't feel right I, I started to work on the mountains for a little bit but I decided to get rid of them later and eat anyone and I will work on the village here I, I, I put in some suggestion of houses but you can't really see the houses uh, in the end you still cannot really see yeah you can see some houses but uh, 
Um, it's still very suggestive, so this really needs a lot of refinement later on. And that's prob this is probably one of the pieces that we will try to refine to a painting, because I'm also not very comfortable with, um, with architecture, so that's something I want to practice with, and you can only practice it with, uh, with doing it, so we really, really want to do it. Well, actually, I don't really want to do it, but I have to, because I want to improve, so that's why I want to do it. So yeah, we, we put down some more triangles, sort of a suggestion of roofs of houses. Um, I probably should also speak uh, of talk a little bit about the technical aspects of this painting. Um, I did the 12 thumbnails on a canvas that was, I don't know, a thousand pixels wide. And with these six, I increased the size to 8,000 pixels wide. So you're looking at 4,000 pixels per thumbnail that's actually quite a lot it's actually quite big um, but it, it feels nice this way the brush feels nice I'm using a customized default brush from Photoshop I added I only added some textures uh, and um, with the lasso tool I, I select shapes and then I usually use the airbrush to to bring in the color of atmospheric perspective. I mainly work on one layer unless I want to change something radically. If I want to, to check out something, if I if I really like, I will do it on a new layer. And the painting is done on, the, on, on, on a separate layer compared to the, to the thumbnail. So I'm not painting directly on the thumbnails. I'm not quite, I don't really have the confidence yet to do that. But that's something that I want to change in the future. I, pro I probably want to, uh, paint on one layer for these kind of thumbnails because these are quite rough and this is a bit like a sketchbook um, it's just about building content and building confidence a sketchbook you're usually quite rough with your work um, and that's something that I want to keep uh, with this as well uh, because you're usually quite a lot more comfortable when, when sketching than when you have to really uh, make a nice finished piece. So yeah, <laughs> you can see my my mouse cursor going up and down. I was talking a little bit about the about the village, and now I'm uh, putting down some atmospheric perspective to push the village a little bit further back, uh, which really helps. I think yeah, it really stands out a little bit more. Now we're moving on to the last one. This one I quite like as well. I kind of like the sky. Uh, although I changed the sky quite a bit in the end, uh, and I think uh, I thought uh, to make a sort of a, a bridge, uh, uh, which you have to pay to cross the bridge to cross the river. So that's how the town uh, lives here. I put down a town uh, on this one as well. I put a, down a lot more housing. You will see later on. Um, at first, I thought about putting some boats in the river. But then I thought, you know, I have to change the whole river because now there's quite a bit of rocky areas in the river and it doesn't really make sense that boats would sail on that river because they would probably strike a rock and get the itch and things like that. So so I, I tried to come up with little stories in my head for each one of these paintings and that really helps uh, figuring out what to put down on the painting. Um, so yeah, that's something that you probably should do as well when you when you're trying to paint. Uh, try to sell a a story, and that's why I like that's what that's what I like to do most. Uh, telling stories. Uh, so this is basically storytelling, but basically visual storytelling. So here I start to work on the clouds, and the sky a little bit. Uh, I wanted to be to be a little bit lighter than the top half. The top half was quite dark. But I somehow wanted to preserve the yellow clouds because, I don't know, it just felt nice and cool. I'm not sure if it, uh, if it works in the end, but if I look at the small thumbnail, a really zoomed out one, it looks actually quite pretty. So... We have some sort of a break in the stream, which I probably should edit out. Ooh, we are continuing. 
work. Ah, now we're putting uh, down some houses there. Um, trying to work out the perspective a little bit. I'm not been paying too much attention to the perspective on these pieces. Um, I should take notes while while I um, do these videos because I get all kinds of subjects to uh, to talk about to make videos about because that's I, I I want to do some more videos about about practice about practicing perspective uh, things like that I want to expand the just draw series. Um, currently, we're just drawing from photo reference, but I want to expand that into drawing from photo reference, but then giving your own twist to the, the drawings. At first, I used the marquee to to, uh, to build the houses. Then I thought, you know, that doesn't really work with the perspective, uh, so I used the lasso tool to. to to get the right perspective in. I don't know if I ended up using these uh, houses, so to speak. I think I think I did. Uh, made them a little bit lighter. But, but I, in the end I used them, I think. And yeah, pa just painting in some more roofs. Uh, painting some, uh, some of the mountains. Still really, really rough. It's all uh, suggestions of housing, of mountains of roofs and I keep going back to the to the other one because I quite like the the one on the left with the, with the housing the effect I created there and I want to check how I did that so here I'm really in uh, some houses really rough bring in some of that orange as well in this one because I really like that color uh, maybe some algae on the rocks or, or stuff like that but I really wanted to uh, to bring that back, and there's a lot of refinement near to be done on this piece later on. But that's definitely that we uh, something that we will see me select a bunch of the housing and yeah, putting down some fog on it, and that works quite a lot better. So here we select one in the foreground, uh, make it stand out a little bit more, painting it. On it a little bit yeah and now we have done we have done some basic refinement on most of them and then I decided to go back to some of the all the other ones that I did before to do some more refinement and then we're gonna call it a day they're still really really rough but it's a good basis to start painting from and I will start painting from a couple of these in the near future and you can expect to see one of these. At least one of these will be turned into a video. Maybe I will. I will post them. I will post the results on on Instagram as well. But uh, I'm not sure how many videos will do. But we'll see. You can see me finally changing those mountains, which I really didn't like. I just copied uh, the mountains from the picture above. But I deleted a lot of it and so the original mountains kind of uh, popped through it and I'm not sure what it was doing there and then I will go back in it with a brush to to uh, to refine those to get rid of some of the color to bring in new colors uh, I kind of don't really like that purplish color you can see me deleting it here and there as well and there as well didn't feel right in combination with the bright yellow and bright green. I'm also trimming down the streak of bright yellow in the background. I kind of want it to to be quite thin, but really, really bright. So we have a quite a bright green below the village and a quite bright uh, yellow above the village to separate it on the canvas. Here you can see me using the lasso tool again uh, which is turning out to be one of my favorite tools because it really helps uh, bringing out these mountains getting nice shapes in uh, getting some nice atmospheric perspective going and there you go that 
it's looking a lot better in my opinion than the ones I had before. And then I'm returning to my least favorite one. I didn't really know what to do with it. I still don't. Uh, but I decided to bring in some textures later on. Uh, I'm drawing the, the light source. Where is the light coming from? And trying to refine uh, a little bit of those mountains in the background. A little bit of a, of a lighter edge. Um, also... Um, finding what are here and there and for some reason my image closed so <laughs> I had to reopen it and I probably think we will bring in some yeah I'm browsing through my images now there we go uh, popping this one in over it uh, on top of it and, and some nice lights so maybe that will help with with selling the ID that it's actually in quite modern city there. Keeping the reflection in the water a little bit, because I, I like that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Uh, if you enjoyed this one and you learned something from it, uh, please subscribe and like this video. Um, let me know what I can do different, how I can, how I can improve. Uh, this is a journey for me and I invite you to come along with that journey. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!